Hey guys, um, it's been a really long time since I've last done a video blog. I don't even want to think how long, so I just decided after watching tons of videos on YouTube that I should, you know, start vlogging again. So I went on my Twitter and asked everyone who follows me what I should talk about, and they all responded, all by three people. <laughs> I think everyone's either asleep or really busy, so. Um, this is mainly for you guys and all you people that talk to me online or something because I haven't made a vlog in a while. So I've got a lot of things to talk about. And first off is Priya requested or suggested rather that I talk about my new university. I graduated from high school on June 25th, that was last month, that wasn't even a month ago, <laughs> and I'm pretty sad to have left high tech for the last time, but it's alright, I'm gonna miss all my underclassmen friends, my teachers, and the really bumpy bus rides, and yeah. And you cannot see my shirt right now, but, oh, let me just back up. Boston University is my the place where I have enrolled in officially for the next four years, four or five years technically. Right now I am class of 2014. That will remain to be seen if I graduate in three or five or something or another year. So, so. <laughs> um, I love Boston University so far. I just came back from orientation last week, session 4, group 11, shout out, we were the best! <laughs> um, I just came back, it was awesome, they really knew how to put on a good orientation, great organization, lots of fun, they had a barbecue for us, the only thing was that the heat was disgusting, I hated it, Boston went through this really weird heat wave kind of thing, so I don't know, that was important. But we got to be outside a lot. That was, that, that was a plus. Um, I love it. I've only visited twice to date. Once was for open house back in March and April. And the most recent one was orientation. Um, for the fall semester, I am taking... I'm trying... I'm getting my general requirements out of the way because as of right now, my major is... Oh, <laughs> um... Approved deferral. Isn't that cool? Approved deferral. Instead of undecided or undeclared. Approved deferral. Um, <laughs> I'm taking astronomy. My writing class, which I will talk more about in a little bit. Statistics and Japanese. I have no idea what level I'm in because I haven't taken the placement test yet. Right? So, at Boston University, every freshman is required to take a writing class. And there are so I would get my course book over there, but I don't want to walk over there. <laughs> so there, there are so many classes to choose from. We have and we have a humongous booklet full of classes. So a friend and I, he kind of influenced me to take a class in which um, we watch Japanese and Chinese martial arts movies and anime, and we write essays on them. I hope the class is as awesome as it sounds. I'm sad that it's only one semester. That would be great if it was two semesters. I do not know what writing class would be the next semester. So. All right, so moving to Boston in six weeks. I still have lots of stuff to do. That's a bad thing. All right, so next thing is from Ash, one of my very, very, very good friends, and she asked me to talk about Tachimana Mio. <laughs> Which isn't surprising because she is the only thing, well, one of the things that I've been talking about on Twitter. Yeah. Um, formerly known, and she hates being called Tachimana Keira's little sister. Um, she's gorgeous. She used to be a model for, I, for, I think it was Nikora magazine. And uh, yeah, she. I don't know what she's doing now. <laughs> I really. She disappeared from the Vision Factory website, the company website, a while ago. I miss her. And then, poof, she came back with a vlog, and I just 
joy, joy forever. If Maria had came back with the vlog, then I'd just be fine. Perfect. He doesn't care. <laughs> um, so she's been vlogging every single day since she started her vlog and I'm just the happiest thing because she is so gorgeous and so pretty and all of you are probably laughing at me because I'm on camera going, oh, she's so beautiful, but she is. <sighs> oh, my heart. <laughs> um, yeah. I, oh yeah, whatever. I <laughs> Yeah, um, check out her blog. She is adorable. She vlogs every single day. I'm very happy that she vlogs every single day. Um, yeah. She looks gorgeous without makeup. I definitely do not look gorgeous without makeup. Do you see this? No, I, I don't like it either. Yeah. Um, check out her blog. I'll be putting a link down here somewhere. So yeah. Um, in the vein of girly things, <laughs> I have gotten into makeup very much so that I cannot walk out of the house without wearing makeup and that's a terrible thing and a very big jump for me. So um, my recent discovery has been false eyelashes. <laughs> my, technically my first falsy purchase was back during Halloween. I went to Sephora and bought uh, the Makeup Forever Lori, I think it was 117, not quite sure. And those are just damaged beyond I just recently bought these. Oh, these are my favorite. Um, I actually have three of them. This is a lot of money. This is number four, feminine style. Um, number six, baby cute. This is really hard to wear for me. It took me a while to figure out how to wear this and not look really strange because I cannot wear it like that. That's really cute. These, those are lower lashes, by the way, and this is my favorite. Uh, what is this? Dolly Sweet? I, you cannot see them because they're all messed up in the case. I need to clean them so I just use them. But these are my favorite. I have pictures of me wearing them. I could wear them forever, but as you can see, I wear glasses and I don't wear contacts regularly. So it's kind of a pain to wear false eyelashes when you are wearing glasses. Yeah. Um, and I have one more thing to talk about. Is fandom related? You want to hear about this? Alright, so me and the entire Wins family, we banded together and we're trying to do this project and we, they named it rather, Wins Worldwide. It's this tag on Twitter, hashtag, search it, you will find lots of tweets. Um, right now, it's so, it all started when Ash decided to make trying to make addicted to love a, tw a trending topic okay <laughs> a trending topic in japan which we did it was number one both days multiple times on the 23rd and 24th kate and Yuchi saw they talked about it on tv it was awesome um so the ball got rolling from there now we're trying to get a fan club up we're trying to get stuff to the boys from international fans v has started a dance project which I will be participating in. Do it, it's cool. You know you want to do the addicted to love dance and the super lover dance. Super lover is cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, please, I will put links down here where you can check it out. Check it out it is going to be amazing. Sign the petition to get an international, official international fan club because you know. So yeah, um, I'm going to go. I have to do laundry. <laughs> so yeah, see you guys later.